Welcome to Higher Ed 617 Statistical Processes for Education and Research. As you enter into this course, look at the beauty of the world around you and think about all of the different types of statistics that exist. We have flowers and animals and mountains and people, and it goes on and on and on and on. There is no end to the beauty of statistics. Enjoy this course, learn from it, and grow, for it will be a blessing to you. Welcome to Higher Ed 617 in the first part of Module 1, Terms and Definitions. This lecture is entitled Quantitative and Qualitative Statistics. What is the difference between these two major types of statistics? This lecture is brought to you by Dr. Dog. Welcome to the course Higher Ed 617. Uh, I'm the dog, <laughs> the infamous dog who is here to help you in your journey through the Valley of the Shadow of Statistics. You've entered into the first lecture, and it is my desire to start you out by helping you get on the merry-go-round of terms, and we'll start at the very beginning, and then we shall move forward through the galaxy. This little section deals with the difference between quantitative and qualitative statistics, and we will go out and ask the experts, and of course all of those experts are on the Internet. Welcome to the experts on the internet. I went out and just typed in quantitative uh, and qualitative statistics, and guess what came up? At answers.com, we have a question which is answered, which says, what is the difference between quantitative and qualitative data and statistics? Well, I hate to just read to you, but they tell you that quantitative data and it should say quantitative data are data instead of is data. Or quantitative data are data that relate to the measuring or are measured by the quantity of something. To put that in simple, plain old English words, what that means is quantitative uh, data are measurements related in terms of number. And then it says that qualitative data are data that can be captured that are not numerical in nature. For instance, the color of people's skin. It might be the ethnicity that they fall under. It might be their gender. Now, I want you to think about this real quickly. This course is a quantitative statistics course. What we will be doing in this course is measuring, uh, analyzing numbers. If you were in a qualitative statistics course, you would be looking at things that are not quite as easily measured. Quantitative statistics are generally used for the purpose of measuring things which we already know, unless we're into quantitative data mining, where qualitative statistics can be used for discovery to find out things that we don't know. Quantitative deal with numbers. Qualitative deal with things that are not as easily put to numbers. Now what is fascinating about the difference between quantitative and qualitative statistics today is that these two types of statistics are drawing closer. In other words, there's a gray area in between um, pure quantitative and pure qualitative in which quantitative may use a little qualitative methodology and qualitative may use a little quantitative methodology. Now you know all. In this course, we're going to examine quantitative statistics to look at the beauty of the universe as seen through number and the interpretation of number. Sit back and enjoy the ride. I'm glad that you chose A&M Commerce.